Hey guys, so I'm back again and this time naman will do Importante bago kayo maggumawa ng haircut is alamin niyo muna yung shape ng mukha niyo. From there, mabibase niyo kung ano ba bagay sa inyo. But of course, okay, not because I say that, gawin mo agad. Come see me or your stylist para mabigay yung tamang cut sa inyo. I suggest na when you have an oval face, don't keep your hair long. Too long kasi nga hahabol lalim mo ka mo. The length is up to here, right on your chest, or you go shorter. You know, if you have a slim, round face, like Katrin Bernardo, ha, a good length is like a shoulder length. Shoulder length is the shortest. Pwede ka mag below the chest. Ngayon, nagpapahaba kami ni Kat. Abangan nyo yun. Pag sabi na, na shape na round, kailangan marami kang buhok na pang cover. But wag naman yung one length. You need a little layers din naman dyan. The shortest mo is to here probably, collarbone, because you need the part of your hair in front to cover your cheek. So, pwede ka mag minimal layers. So, wag din masyadong blunt na blunt. Kasi minsan, pag masyadong makapal ang buhok, ang nangyayari, para ka lang nagiging pyramid. So, meron akong isang ginawa, yung curly hair. She has a round face, yung model namin doon, nakulot ang buhok. Ah, oh, di ba? Ang ganda ng peg natin. Di ba ang level? Like sa Saberano. Or heart evangelista, for example. Oh, parehas silang heart shape. So, kung small ka, you can experiment. Kahit anong hairstyle, pwede mong gawin from long to pixie. Pag medium ka, pwede mo pa rin i-push yan. Pwede ka mag-square bob or long A-line. Fringes. Fringes kasi it crops your face. So, nadi-diffuse ng konti. It gives you different shape. Pero pag large ka na, kailangan ng mas maraming cover-up. So, I would suggest keep it long. May ginawa ako, I remember, I, have, I did one model. Nag-friend ako sa kanya, but I kept the sides long and fuller. Where nag I just created some layers. Among sa nakita kong hairstyle ni Isa, ha, if you're, you have the same weight of body and size of face, I would go for the long layer na ginawa ni Isa. Super sexy. Nakakalambot. Parang it balance sa pagka-broad, ang pagkalapad ng balikat niya sa kayang pagka-diamond ng shape niya. Nakita niyo naman si Ann Curtis kung paano maglaro ng buhok niya. Lahat nagawa niya na. Kung ikaw naman petit, do anything. Pero on, if you're on the bigger side, I would go for below the shoulder. Pero kung ikaw yung super daring, pwede ka mag-chin length. Parang they embrace it. Actually, they make it more sharp pa. Ini-emphasize din yung pagka-swear ng face. Lahat ng imperfection mo, gawin mo ng powers mo, mas magandang tignan yun. Again, guys, you need guide from a professional. So, wag lang basta-basta mag-decide, consult your stylist, or come to the salon. We have a free consultation naman in the salon, so... Pwede naman kayo mag... Uh, tatanong ko lang po. Thank you everyone and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you guys next time. Bye! Hi, I'm Jing Moniz and I'm here again to answer your question. Our next question is Stevens19. Ang tanong niya, Hi, Jing Moniz. Ano po ang magandang haircut sa oblong na face? I would always suggest not to have so much height. Ang tendency niyan, it to gives your face a longer visual. I would say on more on like, parang yung mga K-pop ngayon, no? naka full bangs, yan. so medyo messy. So in that way, it crops the haba ng face mo. From I am Tun Ying. Sana daw magkano kami ng episode for um, receding hairline. Like, um, yung medyo matataas pa yung mga hairline. So sige, sige, gagawa tayo ng episode about what's the right cut for, for men who has receding hairline. That's actually a good topic. This question is from I am Ramara. Okay, ang question niya is, ano po ang pwedeng gawin pag nag-bleach ng hair? Uh, mukha ng dry and freezing hair niya. 
Well, pag ganyan kasi, big, ibig sabihin niyan, over-process yung buhok mo. Kaya siya nagiging brittle or nagiging frizzy is because nasobrahan siguro sa timing ng pagkakableach. I don't know kung i-color nag-color sa hair mo or you went to the salon. If it's frizzy and dry, definitely it's because your hair is dehydrated. How do you get the natural moisture? Please don't, don't shampoo every day. Okay? Conditioner, moisturizer, hair mask. If you can do hair mask every three days, better. So you'll get your natural moist back and your natural oil. See you again, guys! Mm -hmm.